is your land. This land is my land From California Well to the New York The month of February is Black History Month and it celebrates the many black historical figures who have contributed positively to society. We hope to achieve equal rights. Many people of color lauded throughout history were members of the LGBT community. People like James Baldwin and Audre Lorde, who both made significant contributions as writers and activists. Among Barbara Jordan's many firsts was becoming the first African-American woman to deliver the keynote address at the Democratic National Convention. Modern dance experienced a profound change thanks to the efforts of choreographer Alvin Ailey. He formed the Alvin Ailey Dance Theater, which provided opportunities for underprivileged black dancers. There are so many individuals who helped pave the way for the African American community. The Civil Rights Act of 1964. But there are far too many racial inequalities still in existence today. Don't sue! So let's honor the people of color who blazed the trail before us. Congratulations, Mr. President. Let's follow in their footsteps. Let's continue their work. Good morning, Windsor High School. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is February 24th and it's an A-Day here at Windsor High. Hello, I'm John. Black History Month continues all this month. Congrats to the music department for their wonderful Cotton Club performance last night. Full coverage of the event can be seen on your YouTube and on Win TV next week. Attention freshmen, please come to E200 one day after school at 2.30 to help plan our first fundraiser with the Hartford Wolfpack hockey team. See Mr. Folsom and Mr. Mendon with questions. Students who received an invitation to attend the Bridges Workshop on March 9th and 10th should bring their forms to Mrs. Green in the library as soon as possible. If you are not interested in attending, please let Mrs. Green know so your spot can be given to another student. And now, here is our principal, Mr. Osunde, with this week's principal's message. Windsor High School, this is Mr. Osunde with this week's principal's message. Uh, it's been a pretty good week. I know you guys enjoyed your break, so it's good to see everybody back. So now we're going to shift our focus back to some of the most important things that we highlighted during our assemblies, and that's academics. Next week, progress reports close. It's important that you guys continue to connect with your teachers, tap into all the, the necessary resources and interventions to make sure those progress reports look as good as possible. Okay. Additionally, we're going to have CAT coming up for the sophomores, and then we're going through a phase right now where we're prepping for the SAT. Uh, a test which we're going to have in April. Very well attended by our juniors. Keep that up. We know it helps. Okay. So a couple of different things. A couple of different shout outs. I want to give a shout out to girls track team for winning the state championship. Whoop whoop. Uh, great job. Keep it up. You guys are creating a legacy here. Uh, in addition, I want to give a shout out to all the teams, the winter sports that are not going to be competing in postseason play. Not just the teams, but also the individuals. So uh, congratulations. We wish you luck. Um, there's a couple other things I want to speak about. We have, for our Black uh, History Month event series, we have Images of America that's going to be here next Tuesday. Students are going to cycle through that um, during the day, and then it's going to be open to the public. It's an awesome, awesome uh, event, so please get a chance to connect with your families, invite them at night. Um, the building's going to be open. We want to share that experience with people. Lastly, <clears throat> we are in the beginning phases of um, coordinating another pep rally. Okay, very similar to what we did in the fall. It was very well executed in terms of how everybody came in, behaved, cheered each other on. To me, like I said to you guys in the past, it still gives me chills to see a sea of people in maroon and white. Okay, so we're going to try and do that again in the spring, somewhere in the middle of March. All right. Lastly, seniors, important community service. Check your email. I'm going to send you guys some stuff. It's a graduation requirement. I need you guys to get on top of that. As always, take care of each other. We love you guys. Let's have a great week. We know that an estimated 1.6 million new cases of cancer were diagnosed in the U.S. last year. The 
Young Women's Leadership Corps has a goal to create 50 care packages for chemo patients, and we need your help. Beginning February 27th and running until March 21st, donations will be collected. Please look at Please look for the donation box in the main office. Please consider donating these items, car mats, throw blankets, reusable plastic water bottles, unscented lotion, books, neck pillows, reusable bags, fuzzy socks, activity books for adults and children, journals, tissues, and pillows. Attention Poetry Out Loud finalists, please see Mrs. Green in the library at your earliest convenience to claim your awards and book prizes. Co-ed volleyball after school program is starting. Informational meeting for girls and boys interested in playing volleyball will not be on Wednesday, March 1st in room D105 at 245. All males and females interested are welcome. First match will be on Wednesday, March 18th. See Mrs. Woodard with any questions. Attention yearbook super lady winners. Do not forget about your scheduled pictures today. Bring your signed passes from Mrs. Hunter and make sure to show up on time to your designated area so we can stay on schedule. All seniors interested in helping produce a senior montage. We are looking for your videos and pictures of you and your friends. Email or speak to Alex Angelo at angelo.alexius at stu-windercity.org for more details. Great news, we have 70 students signed up for Monday's drive. Students who sign up for the hours between 8 a.m. and 9, 9 a.m. should see Mr. Chris's in, room, in room D107, including those students who have not picked up their blood drive cards. Remember to eat and drink plenty of fluids before and on the day of the drive. Being, uh, bring a photo ID as well. Adults in the building who would like to donate should send Mr. Christmas an email starting when you would want to donate. The hours run between 8 a.m. and 1 p.m. Need community service hours? Volunteers are needed for Winter Winterland Festival on Saturday, March 4th. Please see Mrs. Defoe in B102 or call Sarah M at Windsor Youth Services. Attention students and staff, on April 28th, the class of 2019 will be hosting a staff talent show. All members of the WHS staff are welcome to sign up to perform.